Hey guys, what's up? It's Teron Studio, and today I'm doing a demonstration of my new product called Depth Tone. Before I get into that, I just want to say thank you for almost 23k subscribers. I know I don't upload as much as I should. Um, I'm a busy man, and it's, and it's time consuming to record and edit these videos, but that's already an insane number for the amount of videos I have up. So thank you so much. Okay, so Depth Tone. What is it? Basically, it is a package of two PSDs that are almost drag and drop templates for creating a really sick halftone or stochastic halftone tonal color separation. Um, and by stochastic halftone, that basically just means um, like a noise or a grain pattern, which you'll see. Um, and I know that's a mouthful, but uh, yeah, so you'll see what I mean in just a second. Most of my artwork is made in this style. I've got so many requests on how to do it. So I figured I'd just make it easy for you guys with this product. Um, and one thing I want to mention before going in depth is the difference between this product and my others, such as a Xerox machine or Distressed Halftone. So both of those still have their place, especially Distressed Halftone. But Depth Tone basically combines those two and adds, I would say, a ton more customization and makes it a lot more editable. And in my opinion, it's even easier to use. Uh, so let's get started with the demonstration. So once you download the product, you'll see uh, it's a zip file. And once you unzip it, um, it'll have these two PSDs here, a pattern file and then an installation PDF. Um, if you're watching this video, you don't really need the PDF because I'm going to show you how to install these patterns. Um, it depends on your Photoshop version. Easiest way to do it, probably just to double click and it's going to install the patterns in Photoshop. Um, otherwise, you can go to window within Photoshop patterns, then go over here to import patterns and just choose the pattern file and it will install those patterns at the bottom, which you'll see I have the depth tones patterns right here. All right, so let's get started. Once you open the PSD, uh, the first thing you'll see is just this layer. That's just an intro to the, to the product. You can go ahead and hide this um, and delete it if you want, which you just have to unlock it here. Press delete. And here we have the template. Um, once you open it, you already see all these customization options for the color and whatnot. Uh, but we're gonna go straight down into the artwork smart object right here and just double click on the layer thumbnail to open up that smart object. Boom, and this brings us into the actual artwork that we're inputting into the template. And as you can see, we have the tonal delegation patterns here, the half tone and the grain, which right now I have the half tone enabled. Um, but let's go back into the artwork and I'll show you a little bit more about how this works. So, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Um, once you open either one of these, you'll see you have the actual pattern here. And then I have this, uh, this mid-tone offset levels layer, which just helps with um, just getting more out of that pattern. It, it depends on the artwork, obviously, so turn it on or off as you need. I'm going to keep it on for this artwork. And for the pattern, um, you can easily change the size of the half tone just by double clicking the layer thumbnail. Going in here and choosing the scale as you may. Um, in some versions of Photoshop, you can also change the angle of the pattern, um, but I'm not going to mess with that for now. I'm just going to keep that at zero and 75% for the half tone scale looks nice. So I'm going to keep it like that. Press OK. And then similar process for the grain over here. Um, let's open up that group. Similar thing going on here with the uh, multiplier and the mid tone offset that's in the half tone. Basically, the multiplier just helps bring more out of the grain. So if I turn it off, you'll see you kind of get a less grainy effect. I keep that on just so I get more out of the pattern. And same thing here, you could just double click the layer thumbnail and mess with the scale or the angle. Angle doesn't really matter for the grain, but uh, you can mess with the scale and you know find something you like. I'm gonna keep it at 100, press OK. Let's actually go with the grain for this one. But before I save this, let's go into the textures and adjustments. So the textures here, I have two texture samples. These are from my grunge texture kit, which are releasing, actually releasing the same time as the depth tone product. So if you have that, you'll probably also see the textures on my site, um, which you could buy. And I'll show you a little demonstration of that too. But yeah, so you can see I have these two sample textures here. Basically, this just adds the, uh, that kind of vintage faded and cracked effect to your design. Um, so you could choose, you know, which one you want to your liking. Um, I really, really like this one that I made. Just gives it a really nice kind of plastisol uh, crackle. Um, and there's others in the pack that I'll actually show you right now. Okay, cool. So these are the textures in my texture kit. There's a whole bunch of them. If I open up, um, oops, if I open this up right here, 
um, I'll show you each one individually. Um, and they're made with uh, with merchandise design in mind, so they all kind of get you that nice vintage uh, faded cracked effect. Um, and some of them are lighter grain or are lighter distress, lighter grunge, others are heavier. You can see all that here. So a pattern like this would be really heavy or like this. Um, and yeah, so you can just choose those to your liking. I'm gonna go ahead and use, the one I have here is really nice. That's already on the artwork, but one of my favorites is probably this one right here. You drag that in. All right, so once you have the uh, texture in there, you can just set that to multiply or darken, whatever you want. Um, mess with it a bit, turn the opacity down. Now we have this nice texture on the image. All right, and that's about it for the textures. Pretty straightforward as well. I'm gonna close that group and go into the adjustments. So I added a few adjustments here. Obviously you can make your own, but these are just, you know, preset adjustments uh, just for time's sake. Um, so you have your bright whites if you want to brighten up the highlights in your image, low and high midtones if you want that, and darker darks if you want more contrast on the darks and shadows of your artwork. I'm going to choose none of these for right now. Obviously this depends on your artwork, so um, use that, you know, as, under your discretion. I'm going to close this group, go into my artwork right here. This is a sample piece that I made um, for the purpose of demonstrating this pack. Please don't, you know, take this and use it on your shirts. Um, but yeah, so basically you can just put your artwork in here once it's finished, or if you really want, um, you can make your artwork in this file and compile everything in here, which is actually a really nice workflow because you could go into window over here, arrange and tile these, um, tile these two vertically. So now you have your artwork on one side and the uh, finished product on the other side with the effects on it. Um, and this really works to speed up your workflow. Um, already, you know, with the speed you're gonna have with this product, um, it's actually insane. It's literally drag and drop. <laughs> so um, as I've said, easy to use is a top priority for me. And I really think I achieved that with this product. Um, so let me go back into the artwork here. And I'm gonna save this to update it um, in that template file. So go ahead and file save or just command S. And that's gonna update the smart object. All right, so now we have the updated artwork in the template file over here. And you can just see how, how easy that was and how smooth um, you know the process is. Literally drag and drop, add some textures, add some adjustments, and boom, you have this, uh, this final image over here. It looks pretty nice. And we got that nice vintage texture as well as the grainy stochastic halftone. And one of the best parts about this, I would say, is how um, customizable and editable it is. So if we go into the layers over here and check out the actual template, um, you can see we have a group for each of the, uh, the tonal values in our artwork. So we have the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. If we open any of these up, we have the, this is just a buffer group, um, but inside that group, we have the threshold value for that specific tone. So for the shadows, which is this pinkish color, we could change the threshold value as we like, as we go and it's all live, all editable, which is really nice, speeds up your workflow a ton. And as a little side note, cherry on top here, which I really like to add to some of my designs, is this kind of print misregistration effect going on here, which you see we have a little off-white kind of offset here, which looks really nice when you zoom out, gives it a little bit more depth, kind of that embossed feel, really nice. And this is for any of the tones in the image, so open up the mid-tones, you can change that as well. This is the, uh, the yellow color. Um, again, very customizable, easy to use. And same thing for highlights, we go here, change our highlights to whatever you wish. And if you don't want the low offset print misregistration effect here. If you want to just change it up a bit, you can go into the layer styles of this group, which you can see by the uh, FX little icon here, and then go into the drop. It's not turned on for the highlights. I don't think it is for the midtones either. Oh, it is, okay. But you can go into the uh, layer style of one of these groups, open it up, change that as you wish. You can turn it off, turn it on, change the size of it. Obviously you don't want that much, but but yeah, very customizable, a lot of options here. Um, and obviously you could go ahead and change the colors of these as you wish. So if I wanted maybe like a darker red here or like a gray, 
and then a pink for the mid tones. Boom, so now you have what looks like a whole different artwork just by changing some settings on the template. Really powerful all in all. Um, I personally have used this for past few of my projects. It's really a game changer. Uh, <laughs> so my, my Xerox machine and my Distress Halftone still have their place, but this one is just really something else. Uh, literally drag and drop, it's very easy to use. Um, and like I said, we have all these options here, all still editable. And, and even further than that, we have some um, added effects we could put onto this, or not effects, but added adjustments per each uh, tone in your, in your artwork. So if I go into one of these groups here, let me just change the colors back. I like the other colors better. But yeah, so if I go into one of these groups, let's say the shadows group, um, and let's say I don't like how bright uh, the, uh, the halftone or whatever is maybe right here. What we could do is go right above our artwork in this, uh, in this group, make a levels adjustment, and turn the levels down here. And we can make a layer mask on this level adjustment. So I'm just gonna press Command I to invert it, and then take a soft brush and paint over the spot. Boom, so now we have just that spot being affected by this levels adjustment, and it's just affecting the shadows. And you can do that for any of these, uh, any of the tones, obviously, from the mid-tones highlights. And yeah, so this is all tri-tone. It's all three colors. If I zoom in, you can see it's all pixel by pixel, very easily color separated. And unfortunately I couldn't find or I couldn't come up with um, an action that will automatically color separate it for you, but the process is insanely simple. So uh, let me just go out here. I'll show you how to do that. So once your artwork is final and you want to maybe send this off to screen print or just, I don't know, <laughs> whatever your reason is for color separating this, all you have to do is go and close the template over here. I would go in and, and duplicate it just so you don't mess with that original, you still have it all editable and customizable. Then go to the duplicate over here, press Command E to merge. All right, and now we can hide this, take our magic wand here, and make sure the sample size is on point sample and anti-alias and contiguous are unchecked. So now let's just take our magic wand, select the black and delete that. And now we just have these colors left and we could go in and individually Select these and take them out by uh, using layer via cut down here. So if I hide the rest, you can see I now only have that pink color that's on its own layer over here. So we can do that for the rest of these colors too. All right, so now you see I have this entire thing color separated into just three colors and we have them all on their own layer. So if you want, and if you're setting this off to print, you can go ahead and make a new uh, PSD, the same size. Um, if you want, of course, just make sure the, uh, the DPI is on 300 and just put all these layers into the PSD file. Um, if you want, you could Pantone match it and then send it off to your printer. They're going to love you. It's all spot color separated. It makes it easy for them. Um, and yeah, yeah, this thing is super powerful. Um, I spent a lot of time creating it and I really think it's going to be a game changer in terms of not only uh, color separating your design, but just for the style in general. I made it really easy to, uh, to replicate. And that's the gist of it, but I just want to go over some extra things. So let me just show you what this looks like if I use the uh, halftone pattern. So let me go back to the uh, artwork and I turned on the halftone here. So let me just save this to update the smart object. And now you can see we have a whole different effect going on here with the halftones. Um, same artwork, different look. And again, we could go ahead and customize this to our liking. So and we have this whole separate effect here. With the, uh, with the half tones, if we zoom in, you can see it's all, again, pixel by pixel separated into three colors. And it's the same process for color separating these out. Just go ahead and duplicate and merge the template and go in with your magic wand and select out um, all these colors and put them on their own layer. So one thing I didn't go over is the light uh, BG file that I have in here. Uh, so you can see once you open up the zip file, there is a dark BG and there's a light BG. So let me just go into the light background file. It's the same exact thing, except this is for any designs that have a lighter background. So I have this um, sample design here, which looks best on a lighter background. So I put it in this file. Um, it's the same, same process. So I'm gonna go into the artwork file here. You can see here's the original design. Um, 
there's actually another bonus texture in here that I added just for the light background, but don't tell anybody. So this is also a part of my, uh, my texture kit. I believe this is texture O2. Um, same kind of process here, except you're using a different blending mode for these, uh, for these textures. You're putting it on screen. So if I turn this off, you can see the difference. Same thing with these textures. And yeah, so that's basically the gist of it. You can see what it looks like with halftone right here, but just to show you what it looks like with grain, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on and save it. As you can see, same artwork, an entirely different look and effect. Um, and again, go ahead, change the uh, threshold values to your liking, change the colors, whatever you want, and boom, really easy effect here. So that's basically it. I appreciate you guys for watching the video. Um, this product is available at the link in my description, or if you go to my Instagram, the link in my bio. I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with uh, using this product. So definitely tag me in any artwork you